Hey everybody, today I'm going to be attempting the world's first high-powered laser haircut. Now I've needed a haircut for a long time now, but all the barber shops are closed right now. So I decided to do the next best thing, petition my wife to do it, but I wanted to keep up the social distancing rules to have her cut my hair from at least six feet away. So the only way to accurately do that, of course, is with a high-powered laser. Now for everybody out there that thinks this is a good idea or you might try it at home, don't try this. Lasers can be extremely dangerous. If this laser were to get in my eye or my wife's eye, it would be instant blindness. So don't try this at home. Okay, so my wife Joanna is going to be the operator here. Um, I trust her with my life. I'd like maybe an inch off the top. Okay, let's do it. It's let's, time. Let's for do a it. Cut. Okay, Joanna, show me your stance, your okay, prep so stance. I'm like this, stabilizing. Stabilize the laser. The laser. Do you have any aberrations of movement? And then she needs to focus it in one spot for a while. So I'll be in the go chair right there and we'll see if she can focus it long enough to cut some hair. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna do a mustache shave with it, but I decided the hat, I still like my mustache, even though you guys do not. Some people do. I don't think I okay, go. Okay. Oh, I hear it singeing. If you catch on fire, could it do that? I don't think so. <laughs> there we go. Okay, here we go. Now in my hair, there's just like this clump of <laughs> gross burned hair too. <laughs> it's burning. Look what I just talked my wife into doing. <laughs> so since I got a haircut, she kind of wanted one too. Actually, it's because her hair can lay flat on the ground like that, so we should get a better cut. Okay, let's see if I got it. <laughs> okay, yeah, that looks really good. That's a great haircut. <laughs> oh no. Why are you saying oh no? <laughs> but how does light actually cut something? I mean, we know that thing is heating up because it started smoking, so it's cutting it through heating it up. But why does visible light cause something to heat up anyways? Well, you may be aware that photons, when they strike electrons in atoms, can cause those electrons to jump up energy states. And when they jump up in an energy state, they absorb a photon. And when they drop down in an energy state, usually they release a photon. But in the case where light photons get turned into heat, it doesn't release the photon when the electron falls back down. Sometimes the atoms can be vibrating at just the right frequency that it corresponds with the frequency of the energy state of the excited electron. And in that case, the electrical energy of the excited electron doesn't get converted back into a photon, but it actually gets converted into vibrational energy of the atom. So it basically makes the atom start to vibrate more. And when you increase the vibrational frequency of atoms, that just means you're heating it up. They're vibrating faster, so the temperature has increased. So that's how visible light can actually increase the temperature of something. So I had to really search for this value, but I found the attenuation coefficient for dark or brown hair like mine. And it's around 300 inverse centimeters. So using this equation in a thickness of human hair of 0.004 centimeters, then I find that I get around 30% of light getting through the human hair. So that means that 70% of the photons that are hitting my hair are being absorbed in it. Now the remaining light that makes it through can be absorbed into the layers below it, of course. You want to have the highest intensity in the smallest area. And so if you can do that, you can cut the hair easily. So now I need to get a real haircut to get all these singed hairs out of my hair. And thanks again for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. And remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video comes out. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.